Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, this is another video uh, in the series of videos on the X-linked recessive disorder. Uh, in my previous video, I've told you that uh, there are usually five types of the mode of inheritance of genetic diseases. They are autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, the X-linked recessive, uh, the X-linked dominant and the mitochondrial one. And uh, actually in this uh, series of the videos, I'm focusing on the X-linked recessive diseases. And uh, I told you about the hemophilia as an example of the uh, X-linked recessive disorder. I've told you what is hemophilia. Uh, then I've told you what is the frequency of the uh, major types of the hemophilia and uh, then I've told you about the mutations in the hemophilia A. Uh, in the hemophilia A, they are usually mutation in the FE genes and three of the common mutations uh, which you can see in the FE gene which codes for the factor 8. They were the missense mutation. I gave you different examples. I'll share the link in the description. So if you want details, uh, you can see that particular video. Then I've told you there are non change mutations in the FL gene. There are frame shift mutations in the FL gene. And because of any of these mutation, uh, the end result is hemophilia A. Now in this particular video, I want to focus on the hemophilia B, uh, another important type of the uh, hemophilia. Now the uh, hemophilia B, uh, about 20% of the cases of the hemophilia, they are of the hemophilia B. This hemophilia B is also known as the Christmas disease. And just like the hemophilia A, this is an X-linked uh, recessive bleeding disorder. But in hemophilia B, there is a deficiency of the coagulation factor 9 as compared to the factor 8, uh, which you see in the hemophilia A. Now this factor 9 protein that is encoded by the F9 gene and this F9 gene have 7 introns and 8 exons. This F8 gene, as I've told you, that hemophilia B is an X-linked recessive disorder. That means that the gene for this particular disease that will be present on the X chromosome. So when you talk about the location of the F9 gene that is located on the long arm of the chromosome X, at band position number XQ27.1 to Q27.2. Now, 461 residue pre -pro protein that is actually translated from the 2802 base pair messenger RNA coded by the F9 gene. And this particular 461 pre -pro protein is subsequently cleaved to 1415 residue mature protein that means this 1415 residue protein is actually the active factor 9. So this 415 residue mature protein, it is made uh, when this 461 uh, protein, it goes through the post-translational modifications. So simply it means that in the hemophilia B, there will be deficiency of the factor 9. Now, just like the hemophilia A, there are mutations in the hemophilia B, uh, which are responsible for the uh, deficiency of the factor 9. So you can expect mutation in the factor 9 and because of those mutations, there will be hemophilia B. About 3000 pathogenic mutations and neutral polymorphisms that have been identified in the F9 gene. But when you talk about these mutations, uh, the most common mutation that you see in the hemophilia B, that is the missense mutation and we will focus on that. Now, about 58.4% cases of the hemophilia B, they are because of the missense mutation. About 15.4% of the cases of the hemophilia B, they are because of the frame shift mutation in the F9 gene. And this frame shift mutation, it can be caused by the duplication, the deletion or insertions. About 8.3% of the cases of the hemophilia B, they are because of the nonsense mutations. That means that the most common kind of the mutation that you see in the F9 gene, which is responsible for causing hemophilia B, that is the missense mutation with 58.4%. Approximately half of all mutation, they actually occur in the exon 8 of the factor 9 or the uh, factor 9 gene, uh, because this exon 8, this is the largest exon that you see in the F9 gene. 
So uh, about half of the mutation, you, whether that is a nonsense mutation, that is a missense mutation, or that is a frame shift mutation, you can expect that to be in the exon 8. Now, let us talk about the missense mutation. One kind, what kind of the missense mutation uh, you are actually going to see in the F9 gene. Now, what does missense mutation mean? This missense mutation mean that when there is mutation in the DNA, and that mutation replaces one amino acid with another this is what we call is the missense mutations and these are just some of the examples uh, from the missense mutation that you see in the factor 9 gene for example uh, when there is uh, this is 1136 that is actually the uh, base pair number or the nucleotide number so when at position number 1100 1136 when the g it changes to A, that means normally there will be guanine, but now that has been replaced by the adenine. So as you can see over here, this uh, red over here, that is actually showing you the mutation. So normally there is G in the normal gene, but that G changes into A. Now what happens because of this mutation? As you can see, the codon over here, that is C, G, and G, and this particular codon code for the arginine. But if you replace this G with an A, you are changing the codon to CAG. And now this CAG codon, it will not code for an arginine, it is going to code for a glutamine. That means that because of mutation, one amino acid has been replaced by another amino acid. Therefore, we call this is the missense mutation. Now, uh, which of the amino acid that is changing? which amino acid number is actually changing because of this mutation so amino acid number 379 uh, because of this mutation changes from arginine to glutamine so this is actually the amino acid number uh, at which it is changing another example is that a position number 173 base pair again the g that is going to change into a so normally you have got the codon g g and g which code for the glycine but when this g it changes into a the codon changes from g g g to g a g and this g a g it code for the glutamic acid as uh, you have replaced one amino acid with another amino acid this is another example of the missense mutation and this change is actually happening at amino acid number 58 Another important missense mutation, another important example of the missense mutation that at position number 230, nucleotide number, the thymine that changes into the guanine. Now, as you can see over here, the GTC, this is the normal codon, but that changes and this T, it changes to G. So you have changed the GTC codon, which code for the valine, to the GGG codon which actually code for a glycine and this particular change that is actually happening at position number amino acid position number 77 now if you see over here i have used this term transversion over here now what this term transversion mean this transversion mean that when you replace r because of the mutation if normally there is a purine but that there changes into a pyrimidine because of the mutation we call it as the transversion or if there is normally a pyrimidine and that is replaced by a purine again we will be calling that is the transversion if you see over here the g and the a the guanine and the adenine they both belong to the purines so you are actually replacing one purine with another purine secondly if you look at this example again you are changing the g into a you are changing one purine to another purine but if you look at over here the thymine it belongs to the pyrimidine class the g it belongs to the purine class that means you are changing a purine into a pyrimidine or normally a pyrimidine is present and because of the mutation now there is a purine so when you are changing the pyrimidine into purines or if you are changing a purine into pyrimidine that particular phenomena is known as the transversion so this will be an example of the missense mutation as well as an example of the transversion another important kind of the mutation that you see in the uh, hemophilia b uh, in the factor 9 gene that is a nonsense mutation now a nonsense mutation is a base change 
that creates a new stop codon. So what do you mean by creation of a new stop codon? That will be very much clarified with these two examples. Now, normally at position number 1135, this is the base pair number. So normally at the base pair number 1135, you'll be seeing this uh, C, but due to mutation, this C, it changes into T. So what happens because of this mutation? Normally when the C is present, so the codon that is CGA, and the CGA codon, it codes for an arginine, which is an amino acid. And this arginine, it actually present at amino acid number 379. Now when the C, it changes into T, as you can see over here. So instead of getting the CGA codon, which codes for the arginine, you'll be getting a TGA codon, which codes for a stop codon. As I've told you that the normal protein, or the normal factor 9 protein, the length is 415 amino acid. Now, in this particular case, you are getting the protein which will be 378 amino acid long. Because at position number 379, initially there is an arginine, but because of this mutation, now at position number 379, you'll be getting a stop codon. What that mean is that when there is a stop codon, there will be premature termination of the translation, producing a shortened and unstable protein, and the patient, they will be having severe hemophilia. So how are you getting this shortened protein? Because when you talk about the normal protein, there will be a stop codon after the 415th amino acid. So you will be getting the protein whose length will be 415 amino acid. Now, because of this new stop codon that has been created at position number 379, you will be getting the uh, 300 the protein whose length will be 378 amino acid now that means that will be a shortened protein that will be an unstable kind of the protein and the patient they will be having the severe hemophilia another example is that normally at position number 880 this will be the uh, base pair number there is a c but because of the point mutation that changes into t so normally the codon that is CGA which again codes for an arginine but at this particular time the uh, number of the amino acid that is 294. So normally at position number amino acid position number 294 there is an arginine but when there is a mutation from C to T you will be getting the uh, TGA codon instead of the CGA codon and this TGA that will be coding for a stop codon. That means you have created a new stop codon at position number 294. Again, you will be getting a shortened uh, kind of the protein, that particular protein that will be unstable and the patients, they will be having severe hemophilia. So these are two of the example where there is creation of a new stop codon because of the point mutations and because of that mutation or the creation of that new stop codon, you will be getting shortened and unstable kind of the protein, which will lead to severe hemophilia symptoms. So if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share it with your friends. In the next video, I'll be focusing on the inheritance spectrum of the uh, hemophilia, both the hemophilia A and the hemophilia B. So see you in the uh, next video.